प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट ऑन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द रेट्रोफिकेशन टेक्निक्स सो इनिशियली आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू वन एग्जांपल सो दैट यू कैन इजीली अंडरस्टैंड द कांसेप्ट ऑफ रेट्रोफिकेशन प्रोसेस सो इफ यू कंसीडर एनी वन ऑफ द बिल्डिंग व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू लेट अस टेक इट एज़ जी प्लस 3 स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ जी प्लस 3 स्ट्रक्चर इन हाई सिस्मिक जोन लेट अस कंसीडर इट एज़ जोन 5 कंडीशन सो बेसिकली इट विल हैविंग हायर अमाउंट ऑफ द डिफ्लेक्शन वैल्यू ओके सो इट विल हैविंग हायर अमाउंट ऑफ द डिफ्लेक्शन वैल्यू हायर अमाउंट ऑफ द शेयर वैल्यू एंड हायर अमाउंट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग टॉर्च value and etc okay basically the damage rate will be more for that respected structure so to decrease that respected uh, deflection value shear value bending value torsion value as, as well as your uh, respected requirement basically we have to follow the earthquake resistant structure design concepts okay these concepts are generally call it as retrofication techniques okay so basically we have different types of the retrofication techniques are there so basically the retrofication techniques are divided into two categories okay so in that one first one is global retrofication technique okay okay so these are the classes which are comes under the global retrofication technique and this is the local retrofication technique these are the techniques which are comes under the local retrofication techniques okay so basically retrofication is divided in two types one is uh, global retrofication technique and second one is local retrofication technique okay so in the global retrofication technique first one is shear wall condition okay so this is one of the most important uh, condition for decreasing the deflection value of the building so basically for high rise buildings or apartment buildings nowadays most of the people are focusing on the shear wall condition for decreasing of your respected deflection values okay so this is the first one so in the global deflection technique second one is infill wall so infill wall technique is also similar to your respected shear wall condition but the wall will be provided in between the members which is in uh, horizontal position and vertical position which are related to the beams and column structures okay so if you provide any one of the uh, wall section uh, in between the members of the beams and columns basically we will consider it as infill wall member okay so this is also one of the most important technique that is helps to decreasing of your respected deflection value so this is the second one in global retrofication process and the third one is bracing system okay so this is one of the most important retrofication process nowadays most of the commercial structures are doing retrofication process with the help of the bracing structures okay so this is the third one which is comes under the uh, global retrofication process okay the bracing system will be carried out by using is 800 steel designing code okay so this is the uh, third one so we will design the retrofication of the building by using bracing section okay so next one is wing wall system okay so wing wall system is also one of the external wall that is provided for decreasing of your respected deflection of the building okay next one is thickening so thickening is nothing but if you construct any one of the member basically we have to provide the design considerations so if the member is not uh, up to the considerations we have to provide the additional amount of the uh, section okay so we have to provide increasing the respected properties that is nothing but thickening so next one is reduction purpose so next one is reduction so reduction is also one of the important technique that is also helps to decreasing of your respected deflection values so basically if you construct any one of the building uh, the reduction process will be comes under if the properties are uh, higher than the requirement okay so these are the uh, six techniques so along with this respected technique we have two techniques are there under the global retrofication process in that first one is isolations base isolation basically we will call it as base isolations okay next one is dampers okay so base isolation in the sense uh, for example if you want to construct a earthquake resistant structure so basically we have to focus on the uh, support conditions also okay so if you change the support condition from fixed base to some other condition which is related to your respected rubber base isolation system or friction pendulum system okay the deflection value will be automatically changes okay why because the uh, earthquake loading condition will be applied for the supports initially uh, for the building structures okay so that's why we have to provide the base isolation systems at the base for decreasing of your respected deflection values okay so this is the base isolation under the base isolation we have two techniques are there one is rubber base isolation system and second one is friction pendulum system okay these are the two techniques okay remember this point okay so this is the base isolation system next one is damper system okay so damper system is similar to your respected uh, bracing system for example let us consider just i'm considering the beam sections and column section here like this so if you provide the member in between this respected section basically we will call it as 
uh, bracing system so along with that respected member if you provide any one of the joint at the center position we will call it as damper okay so by using damper you can change the position of this respected line to some certain distance here like this okay so this is the application of the dampers okay these are the techniques which are comes under your global retrofication process okay now i will explain you what are the different types of the techniques are there under the local retrofication process okay so this is one of the most important technique uh, local retrofication process most of the people are following this respected technique for low rise buildings and the medium rise buildings okay so if you go with respected high rise building basically we will follow these methods which are related to the shear wall technique infill wall bracing system wing wall technique and reduction isolation dampers okay so if you construct a building which is in uh, low rise building or medium rise building that uh, respected isolation dampers so shear wall technique thickening it is not mandatory for low rise and medium rise building so that's why we have to follow this respected four steps in that first one is uh, jacketing of beams okay now i will explain you what is mean by jacketing of any one of the members so that you can understand the concept for example let us consider uh, our ground story building is there which was constructed in 1990 let us take 1990 uh, i was constructed a house which is in 1990 year okay so at that 1990 year i was not followed the any guidelines which is provided by the is 456 2000 code okay so in the 1990 year most of the people are concentrated on the construction of the buildings okay which are related to the normal reinforcement values so let us consider i was constructed a building which is consisting of the beam reinforcement section is two bars at the top section reinforcement sorry this is the column so let us consider beam i was constructed a beam with the two bars at the uh, top reinforcement section and two bars at the bottom reinforcement section okay so basically if you construct any one of the building on that existing structure if you construct any one of the building on that existing beam system reinforcement section so basically as per the loading condition point of view as per the seismic loading condition point of view as per the wing loading point of view the building will be collapse is it right so if you want to construct any one of the building on that existing structure basically we have to follow this jacketing method so jacketing method is nothing but increasing the size of the column and increasing the size of the reinforcement and increasing the reinforcement values for the existing beams and column members okay so for example if i consider a uh, column section let us consider i was taking in a column which is consisting of four bars let us consider here so if i want to construct any one of the section under the jacketing method of the column basically i have to provide additional reinforcement section here like this let us take okay so in addition to this i have to provide a cover here like this okay so adding the extra reinforcement for the existing structure or adding the extra reinforcement for the respected uh, beam section or column section that is comes under the jacketing method okay this jacketing method will be consisting of your respected jacketing of the beam one technique which is under uh, local retrofication process and second one is jacketing of the column and the second one is jacketing of the column that i was explained example here okay next one is jacketing of beam column joints okay so basically jacketing of the beam jo uh, column joints will be uh, exist for designing of earthquake resistant structure so basically why because we have to uh, give the strength for the joint so let us take the beam is there column is there if the joint is weak basically the forces will be applied higher intensities okay so to decrease that respected higher intensities we have to find out the weak joints by using push or analysis okay so for that respected weak joint we have to follow the provisions design as per the considerations okay so we have to strengthen that respected weak joint by using jacketing of the beam joint column okay so next one is strengthening of footing last one is strengthening of footing so this is also one of the most important technique why because we have to uh, increase the uh, uh, strength of the existing structure so that's why we have to concentrate on the footing also okay so these are the techniques which are comes under the retrofication process of any kind of the building okay in that we have global retrofication process local retrofication process under global retrofication process we have this uh, eight types which is of shear wall infill wall bracing system wing wall thickening reduction isolation dampers and in the local retrofication process we have four techniques are there which is related to the jacketing of the beams jacketing of the columns and jacketing of the beam column joints and this is the strengthening of the footing okay so this is the complete process if you have any queries about the retrofication of the building uh, different types of the techniques please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you